Hello and welcome to the next tutorial video of Horizon Yoko Portugal Glass Cockpit. In this video we're going to talk about um, how to use checklists, how to set up checklists, how to add checklists, how to add checklist items to a specific checklist. Um, yeah, the first thing you want to do when creating a checklist is you want to create an aircraft for which you want to create a checklist. So we go ahead, go to the menu down here, go to the setup and hit aircraft setup. And then we press the new button, create a new aircraft and select the type of aircraft we want to fly and we want to have the checklist for, for example, a Cessna 172. All right, now in the other fields here, we want to make sure that uh, we put in the right values for those at different speeds, for example, if you the, the, the value you put in here is going to be the lower end of the white arc in your synthetic vision so it makes sense if you type in the correct speed of the aircraft you're creating um, the this is for example the VS is going to be the lower end of the green arc etc um, etc et you're gonna have the explanations here um, yeah you, you would want to make sure that you enter the correct values pretty much um, and once you create it, uh, once you set up all the values and give your aircraft the aircraft name, you hit the OK button and proceed. So now the current aircraft we select is the Cessna 172. Then we press OK, then it takes a couple of seconds to uh, load that aircraft pretty much. Um, so, well, now you have like created an aircraft and you're gonna use that aircraft for your checklist here. So, as you can see, it's now showing us the aircraft we're currently at. That's the Cessna 172. And now we want to create a checklist. So let's, for example, create a, a um, before starting engine checklist. So we just, on the profile of this aircraft, we just press a new button. Now we got a new checklist. So let's call it uh, starting engine, starting engine. All right, now we can give the, the, the checklist some items, for example, mixture, mixture rich. Um, next line means there's a next checklist item. So as you can see here, each line corresponds to a checklist item. So the next line is, for example, uh, master switch. Let's master switch on. Then, for example, throttle, throttle, oops, throttle open one, uh, what about that? One, one eighth, like one eighth inch. Um, then. Then, uh, I don't know, well you can add a lot of different icons, for example, avionics switch on, uh, wing flaps up, whatever, so like you can add way more items, um, you can you, you pretty much should add all the items with, of your POH checklist of the starting engine, and, and yeah. So yeah, we just finished creating the checklist, we press the OK button, and then you can see we got those three items right now, in reality we would have more items, you can create as many items as you want. Right now we get a starting engine checklist for the Cessna 172, which contains and consists of this, those three items. But right now we want to have a before takeoff checklist as well. So let's say we save in the before take off. Well, let's just type before takeoff checklist. Now the items are going to be doors closed, for example. Um, what else? Uh, fuel wealth on, maybe. Um, mixture rich. Um, trim set to take off. I'll just write trim set. Radios set, etc., etc. They're gonna. There's in re in reality there are a lot of more items for that checklist. 
for for explaining purposes it's gonna be enough if I just add those five items I think um, all right we press ok so now we got the starting entry checklist and the before takeoff checklist with all the items in here now we want to have um, a normal takeoff checklist we can add a cruise checklist we can add a before landing checklist so let's just skip until the before landing checklist so let's add before landing before landing checklist seat belts seat belts fastened um mixture mixture rich um radios set and yeah we can add uh, different points again yeah so let's just add those three points now this is an example that we get like and we get three different kind of checklists now for all this rest 172 and those checklists all cons consist of different items so all right that's that's good for example but um now what if we normally fly that Cessna 172 here but I don't know maybe tomorrow we're gonna fly with a Mooney uh, so that's this works the same way we uh, just create the aircraft profile here create a new one call it I don't know Mooney Mic 20 for example if it's a Mooney Mic 20 Mooney Mic 20 of course the speeds a little bit higher I don't know them by heart I think it's 68 maybe 65 whatever I'm just gonna leave the rest of the values as it is um, because right now it's just for it's the only purpose here is for explaining you how to create and set up checklists so normally you should adjust those values in here um, accordingly to the actual values of that aircraft you're creating so yeah now we created that Mooney we press OK again it takes a couple of seconds to load that aircraft profile I want to say like um, all right then we can go over here again to the to the checklist now we get the Mooney Mic 20 selected but we can also see the checklist for Cessna 172 so you see the checklist we just created for the Cessna 172 well then now we want to create checklist for the Mooney um, so this works the same way just press new again just make a before starting engine checklist for example um saying items you want to make sure you add all the items that your ph tells you that then your the checklist consists of master switch on wings up also of course pre-flight complete um yeah the, i don't know maybe avionics switch on all this stuff you should uh, put that in here then you save it by clicking ok then we got the before starting engine checklist for that mooney right now <clears throat> let's create a checklist like normal takeoff take off um wing flap wing flaps up um throttle throttle full um for example i don't know climb speed and then you put in your climb speed i don't know what is it the mooney maybe i don't know let's say 85 knots etc so this would be your your normal takeoff checklist and you can add way more checklists uh, the same way for this money on as you can see now we got the Cessna 172 checklist over here we got the money checklist over here of course in reality we would have way more checklists now if you one day maybe fly a different airplane just add the airplane the same way we added the Cessna 172 and the money Mike 20 and um, then you can create checklists for all of your aircraft 
and yeah that's pretty much it it's pretty pretty easy to do and it's pretty cool because you have all the checklists and the checklist items uh, in horizon in the horizon app and you do not need to um, pretty much you would not need to carry the documents themselves but oh, of course it's always a good thing to have your documents in your within your airplane as a backup um, all right yeah so thank you very much for watching and if you got any questions again please uh, do not hesitate to contact us, just write us an email at support at helios-avionics.com Thank you very much for watching, have a good day and happy landings, bye bye.